let's go straight across to the man of the moment, Lakshadweep MP Mohammad Faisal, who is joining us on the broadcast. Mr. Faisal, thank you very much for your time here on Mirror Now. Many congratulations. Your Lok Sabha membership has been reinstated right ahead, moments ahead of the Supreme Court hearing your case, hearing your plea. How does it feel? It's, it was really surprising for me. I was never expected uh, uh, this uh, U-turn sudden change from the Lok Sabha Secretariat. That too, when I knocked the door of the Supreme Court for my uh, you know, justice, uh, it was about to hear uh, the Lok Sabha Secretariat uh, took a call to reinstate my membership, which otherwise would happen by the Supreme Court, which will be an embarrassing situation for the Lok Sabha Secretariat. I feel so. Uh, given the fact that uh, what the Kerala High Court said and reinstated you as an MP had happened two months ago, uh, why do you think the Lok Sabha was sitting on your plea for two months? Do you think it was completely a political decision and not an administrative decision? Or do you think they were waiting to see what the Supreme Court says? We, uh, we could conclude the things in a very simple way. Here, with the lower court, when it convicts me, that was on 11th January, it was an automatic factor that the uh, hmm. sitting MP or MLA, whoever it is, gets disqualified. disqualified. That is an automatic matter. The speaker has to just sign the uh, uh, disqualification letter or whatever executive order is there. This is an automatic process. So the same automatic process has to happen when the apex court suspend the conviction. Here, two instances, what it constrained us to think in a political way, that one is me at on the 11th January, uh, my conviction came, 13th January, my disqualification uh, letter uh, release, notification list, though they know that my plea is before the High Court of Kerala to consider both the cases, my sentence and my conviction. But, but the hearing was going on. They didn't wait for that. They uh, went out disqualifying me, saying that for the for the time, for the argument's sake, they said we they go abide by the rule by law. It is a factor. That, okay, they can disqualify me. No, no, no matter in that. But second thing, uh, when I got you know uh, my sentence, uh, my conviction suspended from the high court, uh, why they took two months of time to reinstate me? That's another one. At those all these times they were sleeping mm -hmm. on a file. But what the second instance came is on 23rd of March, Sri Rahul Gandhi gets conviction. See the swiftness of disqualifying Rahul Gandhi on the very next day, 24th, he gets disqualification. By this time, my file is there, the secretariat, to reinstate me. My, my floor leader, my all tall leaders, uh, Sarat Pawar Sahib also have met the speaker. I met speaker. Supriya Sule, every day during the parliament session, he goes and meets a speaker. Every time he gives a consolence, I mean, a, 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 a smiling face saying that, ah, ho jayega, kal ho jayega. then what was stopping them? See, the swiftness they shown in disqualifying me and the disqualifying Rahul Gandhi, if he says that is according to the law, they say, then why that law is not applicable when it has come for revoking me, the membership? Then why I had to, they forced me to go to the Supreme Court and to reinstate my membership. When they came to, I mean, understand that I moved Supreme Court and Supreme Court, based on the established law, the settled law, Supreme Court is going to give the judgment in my favor. They took a, you know, a turn that they had to reinstate me. This is the fact. This is all, this as all aspect of the government. The action from the government side uh, it is forcing us to think in a way that they are acting with political will and politically motivated things. Hmm. Okay, so you are saying that if, if there is efficiency in suspending or disqualifying an MP, then why is that efficiency not shown in reinstating that MP? In your case, it took two months. Now, as we are saying over and over again, uh, this was the Lok Sabha Secretariat acting in haste because today is when the Supreme Court was to hear your plea. I want to ask you what happens to that plea. Are you withdrawing it now or do you still want the Supreme Court to hear your plea just to make a point that the Lok Sabha Secretariat has behaved in a partisan way? The, 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 there are two aspects in it. One is my plea was, my writ was uh, the legitimate right of the Member of Parliament. 
or you can say the fundamental right of a member of parliament mm. or the fundamental right of my people of my constituency lakshadeep their right to be uh, you know uh, their uh, uh, aspirations to raise in the parliament which is uh, curtailed by this executive order was questioned in the supreme court now the supreme court my main, main plea was to reinstate my membership since that has been done by the lok sabha secretariat i am withdraw i withdrew the uh, withdrew the, uh, the my writ petition before the supreme court now the question is the other mm. uh, area which the vacuum is still prevailing is what do uh, the so uh, lok sabha secretary do with the sessions which i was falling eligible to attend starting from the campaign section of the parliament uh, uh, president of india's uh, campaign session budget session and till date when the parliament was uh, having i was deprived from that so how they are going to compensate that to me this is a question larger question i am putting posing before mm. the lok sabha secretary how they will you know compensate these uh, because all these sessions i was falling eligible to raise all my my people's issues people as well lot many things of my constituency which stopped me only because of this executive order not allowing me to come inside what the answer they have to give for that uh, that is what the question okay. i am posing before the speaker i okay. hope speaker have to do something then this is an area okay. where now the things has to be you know in a, in a larger way we have to come inside mr om birla has a very smiley disposition and he looks like uh, you know a gentleman because he's always smiling and he's never rude uh, but as they say in hindi he was tarkawing you and your party leaders when every day for the last two months you went to him your party leaders went to him and he said aaj ho jayega kal ho jayega that that's the way india moves doesn't it mohammad faisal my last question to you is this uh, you have drawn a parallel between your case and rahul gandhi's case saying that if the lok sabha secretariat has burnt its fingers once with your yeah. case why were they in a rush to disqualify rahul gandhi but the fact mohammad faisal also is that unlike you rahul gandhi has still not appealed his conviction or his sentence that is what really surprising me also i came to know today only that uh, maybe uh, their uh, uh, low luminaries of uh, congress party might be planning something in a big way uh, they 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 take all the aspect into consideration then once they move Uh, they see the outcome of the uh, what should be the likely outcome of the court and they anticipate all those things then i think they will take a call on that that is what giving to the picture and there is no shortcut other than stopping his conviction to get okay. into the parliament and get into the elections uh, contesting also he has to has to stop mm. his conviction that is the the only remedy as of now before him but mohammad faisal you are a politician and you know about politics more than i do but maybe it works for the congress to have rahul gandhi outside parliament than in parliament after all if he can be made a martyr and the entire issue be used in the karnataka assembly elections then why not so we don't know how politics plays out over that but we'll leave it there mohammad faisal thank you very much for your time here on mirror now and many congratulations once again Thank you so much. Thank you so much. On that note, I'm slipping into a quick break on the show. Uh, there's much more news coming up on the other side. Do stay with us.